thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey folks, welcome back to Hobby Hardwood Sawmill. Uh, we're not going to be doing any sawing this week. We've got a special treat. We are in Georgia at my buddy's place, Jake, at Custom Sawyer. And he owns a really nice facility. And this is a yearly, you could kind of call it a sawmill convention. But uh, we have people come in from all over the country, some of the best sawmillers in the, in the country. And we sit around and we talk about sawmilling. All right, we are here at the sawmill. Jake Dean. There's the big sign. Here's all the logs. He, he's already fired up the sawmill. He's going to be cutting up. Some cypress, it looks like. Well, there's Chief, Jake's dog. He runs the show. Uh, there's a big old cypress log, and there's Jake in the cowboy hat doing a saw. He's making a bunch of one by fours out of these logs for a customer. Even on a convention or a project day, Jake still gets some work done. See a bunch of folks have already showed up. They're watching him do it. Hey, look at there. There's look, Nathan he's wearing out my of hat. Forestry, filming it already. There's Jake's old sign. Bunch of guys standing around doing what old guys do. Talk. Uh, here's a piece of deodor cedar that a customer brought in. Jake's going to cut it on his little uh, wood miser holdy thing there. It's actually called a cookie miser. Seemed to work pretty good. Yeah. So I see Nathan, my good buddy, filming. So I figured I'd sneak up behind him without him knowing it and kind of startle him a little bit. We're good friends, so I waste no opportunity to, you know, harass him a little bit. You got me, Robert. <laughs> you can see a bunch of the experts here. We've got a lot of professional sawmillers, a, a medical doctor, a lot of really uh, qualified people showing up for these projects to watch Jake do his thing. In this case, we're going to watch Jake quarter saw a log. In this case, he's taking the bark off, basically gun barreling it. And here he's already split it in half and he's getting ready to start working it down. We also had some uh, Stan from Nile Kiln show up, do a kiln drying class. And Doc Henderson showed up and did a stop the bleed first aid class. Unfortunately, Chief the dog uh, walked off with one of the um, guy's arms. Now we're going to do a little bit of planing using a Cantec planer, very similar to the one I have. Uh, big old pine boards. That one's got some beautiful blue stain on it. And here's what they look like being fed in. Pretty wide boards. And there's Jake in the cowboy hat waving at everybody. Corrugated thing there. You can do kind of the same thing. Make things get the sparks where you want them. There you go. You got another fire. Nitro benzol. So this is a pediatric glycerol enema for uh, making food. The fellow in the gray beard, uh, actually they all have gray beards, the guy in the guitar with the hat right there in front, he is Jeff. He runs the Forestry Forum. There is no doubt it is the largest sawmilling, kiln dry, and wood, wood form in the world. And I would highly recommend if you want to learn anything about anything related to those subjects, including chainsaw and tree felling, whatever uh, log on and you will uh, enjoy it it is the forestry forum website we have 
gourmet food, no doubt. As a matter of fact, they also caters at the Masters Golf Tournament. So we have some of the best foods you can get. At the same time, we also have really good gourmet coffee. Made by the Montana Coffee Company. Come get you some of that. It was good. We drank it all weekend. Day two of the sawmilling project or project for my buddies up north. All right, here's my buddy Jake Dean. He is fixing to saw up another big white oak log, quarter saw it, but this one is so big you can't get it onto his LT70. So he pulls out his trusty chainsaw and just rips it right in half like it ain't nothing. This is kind of what he does. If you watched last year's project video, you'll notice that he ripped one. It was like a cypress log, like 43 feet long. So this is what he does. So he's going to do a reverse roll quarter sawing technique on this half log. He started taking boards off. They turned out really nice. Lots of fleck. I think I'll zoom up in here. At some point, it turns out that the log had some bumps on it. And the only way you can take bumps off a log is with a big bump remover, which is a chainsaw. I don't recommend doing that at home, but he does it all the time, so ain't no big deal. Here is a few of those high fleck boards coming off. And this quarter sawing technique really works well the old reverse roll or even the jelly roll. Talked about it quite a bit while we were there. So I think everybody got it figured out. It's kind of one of those things, once you understand the technique, you will never forget it. And here we have another good buddy of mine, old Larry, and he was showing off some of the benches that he had made. Doc Henderson came on in and he started working on some benches too. It's really cool to have a true emergency surgeon, emergency trauma physician attending these things. We also had Resonator. He brought in some incredible fishing rods that were made using hardwood. Incredible stuff. But it's got the forum date on it and all that for you. That's a hard word. Fair shake. Yeah. And the last evening, Jeff, and myself, and Jake wandered over to Jake's excavator and we decided it'd be cool to dig up some stumps. I mean, what else do you do after you've had a great weekend? You don't sit around, you get on a machine and pull stumps out of the ground. I climbed in the machine as well after Jeff was done with it and pulled up several stumps. This was a fairly big one. I had to basically dig a swimming pool size hole and that's fine because it was Jake's stump and Jake's property so it's Jake's hole. Day three is over. We've done a lot of song. We've made a lot of sawdust. It's been a fun. Now we're going to sit around a campfire and tell lies. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.